Hey guys, welcome back to Famous and Now We're Happy. I'm Crystal. And I'm Enrique. Welcome. This is our 20th episode. That's right. It is our 20th episode of this podcast show yes. that we have up and running on a weekly basis. Yeah. Trying our best. <laughs> we're trying our best. We're trying to stick to once a week now. Yeah. We're trying to do, yeah, once a week is pretty, um, uh, what's the word? It's pretty achievable. It's pretty achievable. Yeah. Also, we um, uploaded two other videos. Go check them out that aren't of like a podcast setup. So um, we're going to be uploading a lot more things like that. Just so you guys could be getting two videos a week. One will be a podcast format and then the other will just be whatever we wanted to create for that week. Yeah, exactly. And feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments. Feel free to give us a like and a subscribe because it's free. Yes. And it will help us out. And those of you who do watch, like, we appreciate that. Yeah. And just so we can, you know, always comment if you want us to cover a certain topic or experience that we went through, um, that we can know what you guys want to watch. Yeah. What was the topic about today? Um, Today, just kind of, like, really want to talk about... You know, we love self-development here. Um, yeah. Something that's really been brought to my attention is releasing myself from the idea of perfectionism mm-hmm. because that is so unattainable. I'm sure many can really, um, anyone who like resonates with being a perfectionist, they often don't want to start something or continue to do something unless th- they feel as if they're very good at it. Yeah. Or that they feel as if they're the best that they can be at that. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes that can, you know, shy someone away from even uncovering their, their um, potential. You just have to try things out and go through it, go through all the emotions of being a beginner of learning and knowing that, you don't have to be the best yeah. automatically to be worth doing something. Mm. Like your value is already there by just showing up and, you know, doing what you can with what you know. And just knowing that it doesn't have to be perfect all the time or it doesn't have to be like the correct thing to do Yeah, based on society standards, really. I mean, that would be where the pressure would come from. Yeah, and having that perfectionism mindset is both a good thing and a bad thing because, you know, it's a bad thing because, like you said, you a lot of people don't even try to do what they want to accomplish because they're such a perfectionist and they're scared to mess it up or whatever. But then it's a good thing because once people do start tapping into what they're trying to learn or achieve, they're always going to put their best effort into it because they're that perfectionist. Yeah, which I mean, I don't, I don't think it, it's bad. Like always striving to be the best. Yeah. Like it's this is a a you versus you game. This is me versus me. It's never you with another person. So like I enjoy striving for the best that I can be, but obviously that takes time to Mm -hmm. where I can see myself in the most achievable position of. You know, where I'm like, okay, yeah, like I got this. Like I have plenty of experience. I can do what, whatever it is that I'm trying to accomplish. Um, But obviously starting out, it can be scary at times because it's like, man, am I I doing enough? Or am, you know, like just like remembering your value Mm -hmm. that you just need to be you and show up as yourself. And, you know, that's when you really start living in your alignment and living authentically for yourself. And, you know, when you try to, you know, like going just this year, it's April, I've really like cut out a lot of outside sources of what I should do or how I should be and show up and really just be like, no, like I'm, I'm just cutting out all outside sources and listening to what I want to show up as Mm. what I want to be on a daily basis. Like the simplest thing of just, um, I had this silver necklace I wore the other day. It kind of was like a dream catcher, but it's of metal. Mm -hmm. So it makes a lot of noise. Oh yeah. With the little feathers hanging down from it and stuff. Yeah. 
I don't know why, but I've always been so like self conscious of wearing that because when you walk, it makes like a, a little like um, jingle 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 noise, <laughs> like kind of like carrying keys around. Yeah, I was like, man, I don't want to annoy anyone. Yeah, the janitor's coming, everybody wearing this. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's just a necklace. And the yeah. other day, I was like, why the fuck do I care? Like honestly, like real shit. Like yeah, why do I care if that noise of my necklace? Mm-hmm. it's gonna bother someone when i walk yeah you know like it's the simplest thing but we don't realize until we you know observe our thoughts and really um determine like does does that really matter no so yeah. then just show up as yourself and how you want to be that was just a small little baby step of like okay like i'm being so much more authentic of myself because the the past me would have been like no i can't wear that i don't want to annoy anyone Mm-mm. where like now i'm like yeah no i love this necklace it's so cute yeah and let me put it on let me wear it and i'll rep that jingle jangle sound for the day you know mm-hmm. yeah and i think society has a lot to do with those type of thoughts and people's and people's heads because i mean no one wants to be looked bad for say if you really live up to society standards but there's so many standards that always change too you know and it's saturated by social media and these advertising billboards and stuff so that's a good step to like take into self-development yeah i mean it just it's such a game changer because before i would have in and i I say um, the jewelry, for example, because um, there's so many different ways we express ourselves, you know. Yeah. For you, I, I see your expression through your creations, your art, your videos. Like, that's how you express yourself from, like, what I'm seeing of, you mm-hmm. know, you really tapping into your inner voice. And for me, I realized that's with what I wear because I just... I like to express whatever my mood is on the outside. That's why my aesthetic changes every day. One, yeah. One day I, I'm dressed like a 70, like this 1970s, and then one day I'm like full on streetwear mode. Like yeah, one day you're like tomboy a 70-year-old girl. grandma. And then. One, one day I'm a 70 <laughs> year old grandma, 1970s. Like it, it changes every single day. Yeah. Um. So I was like, oh wow, like that's how I really express just just my mood, how I'm feeling, you know, like mm-hmm. that's really like being my most authentic self because I'm not trying to, this is my style. Like, yeah. Although I gravitate gravitate more towards like free hippie child nineteen seventies style for sure. Um, there's other expressions that I show through my fashion. So I was just kind of like, oh, like that's how I represent myself. Yeah. And today, before I forget, today's Earth Day as well. Yes, today's Earth Day. Four twenty one. Four twenty two. Four twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. Happy Earth Day. Honestly, go watch our, not our last one, but our second previous most show because we talked about some sustainability um, practices that you can implement, you know, on a daily. It's it's very easy to change it up. Yeah. And honestly, it's just so important to, you know, really. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh. It's just, I'm just looking at oh, you. Okay, it's I just look funny. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> no, but it's it's very important to care about the earth. You know, like we, it's not just humans. Like we are not on the top of the food chain. Although, yeah. yes, we are very intelligent beings, and we have created so much here on Earth. Mm-hmm. We are in um, community with Earth and earthlings and you know the planet we're all working together we're all living on this planet it's good to remember and humble yourself yeah that any day earth could wipe you out you're not at the top of the food chain Mm -hmm. you know for sure any day an animal can run you over like Mm -hmm. you're not at the top of the food chain i feel like it's just so important for humans to remember that that we get so caught up in you know our intelligence of being able to um, mass produce things to create these technologies and further advance, which is awesome. But it's just 
important for us to humble ourselves and be like, yeah, we're not we're not superior to Mother Nature or yeah. anything else that's on this planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, happy Earth Day. But yeah, happy Earth Day for 22. For 22, yeah. You know, I wanted to bring up the topic of this test that we took called the uh, creator's... Uh, what's it called? Like the creator's archetype test? Entrepreneur archetype. Oh, the entrepreneur archetype, which really, it was so accurate because as you guys can tell, she does most of the talking because in her test, she was like more of a teacher slash coach, whereas I'm more of the creator and the editor, which is like, you know, the perfect duo because she will do the talking and, you know, whenever we get a second camera, and we get more shots for sure. The second one's going to be the close-up on, like, your face, you know, because you do most of the talking. I just thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I highly encourage anyone to really go take that test because it was created by Amanda Bucci. And it's Entrepreneur Archetype Test or Quiz. And um, it just really, like, it was very accurate. And it's quite funny taking that test between the two of us is that opposites attract Mm -hmm. like that is such a true um saying Mm -hmm. because every time i realize we take any personality quiz or just like something to further like understand your being yeah we're always the complete opposite spectrum yeah we always fill in each other's spaces of like my strengths are your weaknesses your strengths are my weaknesses we always just like complete the full circle it's Mm -hmm. never like here we are on this side of the scale no it's always like i'm on this side and you're on this side and we're we're just like full circle complete it together yeah even the small things like what we crave sometimes she'll have like a berry bowl and i'll have some like nachos with cheese and beans yeah and she's craving sweet because she always craves a lot more sweet stuff whereas i crave a lot more savory stuff yeah which is pretty funny but then again like you know which is pretty funny (laughs) no one laughs no one (laughs) (laughs) but yeah uh if i don't forget I'll leave the uh, link to it in the description below and you guys should uh, feel free to take that test. It's cool because then it breaks down each section. So everyone has the four type, which was a creator, a teacher, a coach. And the architect. And the architect. So everyone has a little bit of each, but there's the hierarchy of them. Then it breaks down on how much you have it plus what that means for you. Yeah. And then, like, it puts together your top two. So, for me, my top one was a teacher. And then below that, I'm a coach. Just, like, naturally, that's where my energy goes towards when mm-hmm. I sh- as, when I show up as myself. And the main purpose for me whenever I'm trying to do something is how can I teach someone something? And then the coach then steps in and is like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coach it to you. I, I kind of think of it as, like, like a sports coach type yeah. of deal or, like, a life coach kind of, like, you know, something like that, like, oh, you got this, like, this is what you're going to learn, what I'm going to teach you, and then from there on. And then for yours was, top one was creator, and then the second was archetype. Architect. Architect. And then the last two were, like, super far away, the teacher slash coach. Slash coach. So for him, obviously, like, he's a natural creator. I mean, if if you guys don't check out our TikTok or ev- any of our pages, he creates everything. I'm just there, like... <laughs> he does all the work i just pose like hi yeah um you can just obviously tell like everything you do you're very creative and it just comes from you yeah it's very cool to watch to the different dynamics of you know obviously we know how we work oh well, kind of yeah still still where the and the, the cool thing you know to get back to your point it's like We're still, we're only 20, like we're still growing, you know, like we're going to be, I believe we're going to be super different, not super different, but there's going to be a lot of change within like 10 years. But like you were saying, continue. Um, Just like seeing it, like seeing it, you could see, you know, you just go straight to like your editing, you know, you don't really need to get inspiration from any other sources. You just, you get your clips and then you put it all together and. 
Yeah. You know, and then that's your creation. And then the second part was archi- architect. Architect. Which is more like the business side of things. So very yeah. like, well, then, the, you know, we need to do this, this amount for this. And, you know, like very schedule. Mm-hmm structural that's the word i'm looking for and this i really love taking these type of quizzes because we've even done it with the gene keys oh yeah that's right i don't know if you remember your chart no i don't remember yours but i remember mine it matched so perfectly to this one because my main purpose that i'm always searching for is how can i better humanity and it matched so much with like being a teacher coach because um learning about marketing i had went to school for marketing and i always was just like in the back of my head like man i don't want to work for a corporation that is telling people they need to go drink pepsi yeah like i don't want to be a marketer for that that doesn't better humanity when you take these you know they're all tools Mm -hmm. that people have created for us so when we're able to use those and put it into our you know perspective of like wow that is really how i show up in the world i always am questioning that question of okay but is this even doing any good because i don't care just about my results i care about what it what that result does for everyone else how too. it impacts others yeah so um it was very cool to see two different completely separate tools one's based the gene keys is based on astrology astrology and um another's type of science-based research and then the entrepreneur archetype quiz was just like was created by someone who you know they're they're entrepreneur Mm. they understood the four basic um components of being an entrepreneur and which ones stand out in certain people Mm. and just seeing those two like completely connect with the same exact result like yeah it's true like that's how i show up that's how you work and that's how you you value yourself yeah exactly yeah yeah, going um feel free to try that out and it just helps to learn more about yourself you know yeah but what's cool about those tests too is you could probably discover something new about yourself because then you could find answers for why you do certain things or why your brain always goes to certain thoughts like you for example like you said you like to do stuff to impact others so your your thoughts probably always come to some sort of like okay how could this value someone else other than me taking these tests then really shines the light on that and then gives more details and examples and you're like oh okay cool i'll be better off as a teacher than uh whatever yeah it's such a helpful tool because um i discovered the gene keys first Mm -hmm. and once I, um, you know, like receive my results, you know, you like you take your little personality of what you, what matters most to you. And it was a full chart breakdown. There's so many different components of it. Um, but it just all clicked when it said your main purpose of what you feel is most important is humanity. And I was mm. just like, that's why I feel that I can't ever do something that's just for me. I always like my soul is always just like, okay, okay, you're going to do this. But then what else is going to come from that? Like, how can you further this? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I really realized that um, studying marketing and I was like, I mean, it just it doesn't do it for me. Like, I don't care if it's not something that's good or beneficial Mm -hmm. for the earth. Like especially um i have to say it but honestly transitioning to vegan it teaches you to live such a more compassionate lifestyle with the planet like realizing that it being earth day as we just said earlier you know it's not just you you, you're in unity with other things and through that you create a community where you're all working together it's not pushing this force of no it's just me like, I don't mm-hmm. care about anything else. Like, no, that's so not true. It's it's always bigger than just you in every aspect of life. I saw this one thing 
where it said in every circumstance when you're interacting with another person and you know someone cuts you off while you're driving or someone is just being rude to you you know like a random stranger think of the most empathetic reason for them to do that so someone cuts you off when you're driving in your head oh maybe it's a mom she's got two kids in the back one needs to go to the hospital someone is driving slow and maybe it's um a couple and they have a huge cake sitting in the back seat and they don't want to yeah tip um, it over tip it over so they have to be a little more cautious yeah, yeah. someone just broke up with their boyfriend and now you're the second person to interact with oh. <laughs> like just the <laughs> most empathetic reasoning for something that you didn't like that someone did to you and find the most compassionate way that you can be with them that is a cheat code for life <sighs> brings a lot more happiness i feel like Yes, the biggest change of mindset. Because we always think, it's me. I'm the main character. I'm the main character. Don't cut me off. Don't act rude to me. It's like, no, you're not. You're only the main character in your life. No Ooh. one else is. Mm -hmm. But Only in your own mind, you're your own main character. Yeah, not even your parent. No, they're still the main character because it's their life. You're, you know, you're part of it. You're a primary yeah. character, but... You're a main character. You're a main character, but not the main character. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So think about the most empathetic thought, Re reason for why someone did something negative towards you. Yeah. That could... So something that you affect, disliked. Yeah, that could affect your emotions or thoughts. Yeah. And that's why it's like you never know what someone's going through because maybe it could be, you know, but once yeah. you change your mindset of like life happens for me, not to me, Yeah. That's that goes hand in hand together. And when you break it down into other little situations and circumstances, you're like, oh, man, it's nothing personal. Oh, man. Thank you, God. Oh, man. Thank you, God. Lord up above. <laughs> <laughs> Being said. Being said, um, you know, take these little tokens with you if you resonate with them. Yeah. One that I actually heard, uh, saw today was that we suffer a lot more in our minds than we do in reality. Our thoughts are more diminishing on us than what the world is actually doing to us. And it really hit me hard because it's like, dang, you know, the reality for a lot of people is just within their own thoughts, whereas it's this reality and then the actual reality. Yeah, I mean, it all goes hand in hand. Like you said, you live with your thoughts and... Mm -hmm. You know, you either believe that you are what your thoughts are or you let them pass and you're like, okay, that was just a thought. Let that leave. And let me go back to like, what's the truth? What my truth is. But yeah, the gene keys and the entrepreneurial test would be down in the description below if you guys want to take those tests. Don't forget to follow us on our other social medias down below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Yes, we'll see you. Bye. Bye.